Someone told me that you have to have an intro if you want to make it big on YouTube. So this is as good as it's gonna get for now. I hope that's okay with you. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to be a good person. And I know this seems like the most obvious thing in the world. And if you feel that way, I'm really happy for you, but I feel like there are people out there who do need to hear this and that genuinely don't know how to be a good person. Because I've had times in my life where I couldn't, like I would just go on YouTube and look up how to be a good person and I could never find a video that would just tell me, just tell me the steps. I just want to be a good person. I don't know how though. So yeah, I'm going to do that for you. And yeah, welcome to the channel if you're new here. My name is Ryan. <sighs> Remember to breathe. <sighs> Breathing is good. A lot of times I breathe and people are like, what are you doing, bro? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm just hanging out with my friends and I'm just... <sighs> like, are you good, man? Like, <laughs> Why are you breathing so like intensely? And I'm just... It feels good, it's good. So let's get right into it. I got my list right here. Don't even try to pause and read it because you probably won't because I'm using like the worst camera ever. And I hope that doesn't bother you guys. But if it does, let me know. And I'll be like, I don't got money. If you want to give me some money, I'll get a new camera. All right, step one, you treat other people how you want to be treated. Whenever you're interacting with someone, try to become aware of how you are talking to them and the energy you are sending them. And then flip the roles, see yourself from their perspective, and then how would you feel if you were picking up the energy that you're sending out? And if you wouldn't feel good about it, then you need to change it. If you're aware when you talk to every person, to the point where you're always just sending out good energy to everybody, guess what? You will also be sending good energy to yourself, which is very important. Self-love is like the most underrated thing ever. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. You cannot love anything until you love yourself. Or you can, you, a lot of people think they do, but they don't really know, man. Like there's, there's levels to it. And when you love yourself, it just changes the game. You start to love everything so much deeper and more intense because there's no like negative projections or concepts blocking your vision. Number two, you listen. You listen when people are talking to you. I know what you do. You think in your head of what you're gonna respond. So as you're they're talking, you're picking up the words and then you're formulating your response in your head while they're still talking. Don't do that. Do not do that. Just listen. Just be in the moment. Just listening. No thoughts in the head. And you're just purely perceiving the information. When you listen like that, when you're so in the moment, and there's just nothing but the words, and you're just purely perceiving their words and what they're meaning and their energy, and you're looking into their eyes as they're talking to you, they know, they can feel the difference. Like they can feel when you're actually listening and it just feels so good when someone's really listening and just perceiving you and people love that feeling. So if you wanna be a good person, you can make people feel amazing and seen and loved just by actually listening to them. It's like so underrated. Literally, I remember this Christmas, I was making like all my grandparents feel so good because when they're talking to me, I would just look them in the eye and I have my hand on their shoulder and be like, and I'm just listening every word they're saying and actually listening. They can tell, they can feel my soul connecting with theirs. I'm like, I love you, Grandma. I love you so much. And she's just like, gets so happy, gives me a hug. It like, that's how you be a good person. You just, you love people and you make them feel seen because that's all a human being wants is to be seen. That's it. Like, literally, that's it. I have a feeling that this video is going to do really good because I'm being myself, which is my next point, I think. No, that's the last one, but I'll say it right now. Being yourself. So many people are just not themselves. They just, like, you know when you hang out with different people and then you 
make a new personality for like each person you hang out with that kind of like mirrors them and like makes them feel good about themselves. When you do that, I feel like you're, you're doing yourself a disservice because you're not being your truest self. You're not being your like most authentic self. You're like creating this fake personality for them. And I just, I guess it doesn't make you a bad person to do that, but I feel like to be the best person would be to be the truest you. And just fully be you around every single person, family, Friends, girlfriend, co-workers, schoolmates, doesn't matter. Be the same person around every person. Because people can also tell when you're being your authentic self. They can tell, but it might be subconscious, but they can still tell. So that's why it's important. So be your real self. Listen to people. Treat others how you want to be treated. The next one, be open-minded. Be open-minded. What could that mean? It could mean a lot of things. You can be open-minded in pretty much every situation. To be open-minded is to not be limited by the constructs and things you know that you've been taught when you were like a kid. Your parents told you this, and now for the rest of your life, it's just a concept in your head. But the thing is, that's all it is, is a concept. All thoughts are just concepts. The only thing that is really real is this moment right now. This present moment. It's all that really exists. The past... The future doesn't exist. It's all in our head. You imagine the future, you remember the past. It doesn't exist in the same way this moment does. So you're open-minded. Someone tells you about something and it reminds you of something you heard a while ago that you disagree with. So even though they're just telling it to you, you're already like, nah, I heard something else about that. No, even though I didn't do my own research, whatever, vague topic, like, what I'm saying is you're closed off, you have walls. Get rid of the walls. You hear something that you might not agree with, just listen to it fully, be a listener, remember? And just do that. Then once you get all the information, process it in your head, feel how your heart feels, how your intuition is telling you you should be acting, not your like weird mind. Don't think, stop thinking. <laughs> you're thinking, yeah, you're thinking, aren't you? <laughs> stop, don't think. Thinking is bad. It's not bad, really, but that's kind of condescending. It's not bad, but it's... People think too much. Thinking is okay, but just do a little bit. Balance. You know, balance is the key to everything. The yin and the yang. Balance. Come on. Breathe. Okay. Now the next point. You are self-aware. Are you self-aware? What does it mean to be self-aware? Who is the self? Do you question who the self is? Do you ask yourself, who am I? Do you just sit and ponder, who am I? Am I my collection of experiences I've had in my life? No. Am I the soul that is experiencing this moment? through the vessel that is my body. Maybe, we can't know. Only you can know, but you can't. It's a paradox. All the deepest truths are paradoxical. That's because how our language is structured is it's in a way where we can't understand the deepest truths because we can't even put it into words because of how limited it is. Like this, it's just not on the same level i don't know how to explain this but <laughs> anyway that's not important because you want to know what the last point is on how to be a good person and it's the most important point honestly you could just get rid of all the other points and only listen to this point and you'll probably still be a pretty good person let me spell it out for you love if you can love everybody and if you can love yourself then you can be a good person because love is the root of everything in the universe. So by aligning yourself with it, you align yourself with the universe and the world and the people because everything is the same thing. It's the same atoms in every single thing in the world. It's just in different patterns and different shapes and moving around at different speeds, but it's still the same thing. Everything is connected just because it is not you that doesn't mean it is not you. 
just because you can't perceive it in the same individualized form that you're experiencing with your ego through your consciousness rooted in this body that tree can be a part of you just because it doesn't make sense to you with your little human brain doesn't mean it's not true <laughs> anyway just love people love everything wake up in the morning just taking a deep breath of air <sighs> man i love air i love the fact that i can breathe air that i can drink water everyone makes fun of me because i drink out of the jug but hear me out this is like at a gas station full of water a gallon for like two dollars and then for like two dollars you can also get like a tiny cup like why would i not get the giant jug if it's only two dollars let me know if you guys like this type of video kind of new to me if you enjoyed this video and you got any value out of it i would really appreciate if you hit subscribe and maybe hit like if you want, if you liked it, I don't know.